Chasing your dreams is stupid. Ever since I was a kid, I've dreamed of having a music career. At 13, I joined my first band. We played Blink-182 covers in basements and school coffee houses. It was fun, but like all high school bands, we broke up. I was the only one taking it seriously anyway. Sorry, guys. Ooh, why do you even care? Because you're breaking up the band, Yoko! <laughs> By that point, I was obsessed with playing music for a living. So I joined a few other bands, but nothing really panned out. Still, I wanted it more than anything. So at 19, I moved to Toronto to learn music production. I recorded a handful of songs on a MacBook in my bedroom and put them out on the internet. This was back in 2007. Fuck, I'm old. Ooh. I had envisioned this larger than life horror music multimedia stage show and spent a solid two years releasing music and videos online. I eventually moved back to Ottawa and put a band together to perform my songs. This is where I met one of my best friends and longtime collaborator, Jordan. To all the kids, shut your face. To the, actually, no, I need you in on this because PSA, smoke, crack, and hail stand. We toured around Canada and released a ton of music. We even had some interest from labels. There were some extreme highs and a ton of parents perilous lows. Then, after a solid of 10 years of hard work, the band super imploded. Oh man, this is the worst. I was devastated. I had put everything I had into making it work and it all fell apart over a few texts. Was this the closest I would ever get to achieving my dreams? Should I just give up and try to get a government job? Nah. Fuck it. I had done some pretty cool shit and I still had so much art left to make. I wouldn't give up. That was the day I officially became Andy Negative. I went out on a solo acoustic tour, then started releasing more music and videos on my own. After a few years of going it alone, I reconnected with Jordan and we started playing music again. This is when Topher joined us. He's the kindest, most talented person I've ever met. We started a band, released some music, and played a bunch of shows. 20 years after starting my first band, I was still in the trenches chasing my punk rock dreams. Would it ever pan out? Who knows? But at least I was still having fun. Then the emo anthem video went viral and suddenly everyone was talking about me. It was nuts. I just write the next emo anthem. Let's we check. No? I asked Jordan and Topher if they'd be down to turn our silly little punk rock band into the Andy Negative Live Band, and they were totally on board. Funny how history has a way of repeating itself. We played some wild shows, made some insane videos, and recorded a bunch of songs. I truly believe it's the best music I've ever made, and I'm so proud of what we've done. There were hundreds of times over the past 20 years that I could have given up, but I didn't. Because it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. So if you believe in something, go after it. And never listen to anyone who tells you chasing your dreams is stupid.